hello friends welcome to my videos so today in this video I'm going to show you how you can online apply for subclass 771 transit visa for Australia before I proceed further if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe because I regularly upload videos and if you have any concern any question anything that comes in your mind feel absolutely free to ask all right guys so let's proceed so with this visa you can transit through Australia for no longer 72 hours we know and some conditions and all are given here including eligibility so I'm not going into the details of that instead I'm gonna focus on the application process so you have the apply button here when you click on it a new tab open where you can log in into your IMMI account so if you don't know how to create this account you can click here and do and I have already uploaded a video the link is available in the description so from there you can take it all right that is so you need to enter your IMMI account here Okay, click on continue you need to accept the conditions click next applicants current location let's say uh, there's an Indian citizen who is applying for a transit visa who's gonna stay in Australia for let's say um, 48 hours legal status the citizen proposed arrival day so let's say he's arriving for in somewhere in September let's say September 8 purpose of tra transit depart on a passenger as passenger on a flight depart as a mem crew on a non military ship okay let me select this does the applicant hold or have a current application for a visa let's say no he has not applied click on next Uh, the uh, applicant has indicated that the full travel more than once into the future the applicant will be able to continue however assessment of application will not commence until closure of your travel date okay no problem passport details so let's say the guy's name is John Smith he is a male his date of birth let's say in 1995 August 1st passport number I'm just putting a sample Indian num passport number uh, but this may be required later so I'll save it somewhere country of passport India nationality of course India I mean purpose of this video when you apply it's uh, on your case uh, when it was issued so let's say let's get it issued on August 1st let's say valid till 2020 place of issue let's say New Delhi India this application uh, does this applicant have an Australian visa grant number from previous visa application no this is his first visa does the applicant have a national identity card so this is not mandatory but it's advisable like they do have information about certain countries like for India they have so Smith John identification number so let's say he has a PAN card I just put a sample number it was issued in India you may get a warning because if it does not uh, follow their format so for pan card we know there is a start date but not an end date so let's say this was issued in August 30, 2015 and I confirm yeah as I said a warning may come but if you are sure like uh, even if you get this warning but you have the actual document and you are sure then put that information otherwise you can edit it later also or you, it's better you edit right away place of birth let's say he was born in New Delhi state is uh, Delhi country of birth India 
relationship status let's say he is never married but whatever is applicable in your case you need to it is this applicant currently or have ever been known by any other name no is this applicant citizen of the selected country yes is the applicant citizen of any other country no does this applicant have any other passport documents for travel no does this applicant have uh, other any document let's say no health exam has this applicant undertaken a health examination by a student visa in a, do a doctor for last in the last 12 months no click on next click on just verify if it's correct click on yes if not you can go back and check and you can change also so click on next once you are sure that this is correct country of residence let's say is living in india if it is uh, asked to attend may be required where would you like to go so in india there's one office only so whatever residential address so is in india we have state state delhi address one new delhi street i don't know if this address is correct or not it even if it, it uh, i don't know if any if it exists or not oh come on probably a type too fast town new delhi pin i don't know any pin code for delhi but i'll just try to make a format okay contact telephone numbers with no space so 10 digits for phone number in india yeah so 9 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 how many 4 4 home phone i gave business phone cell phone uh, reverse 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay yes email address okay click on next Does the applicant authorize another person to receive? Well, no, he does not authorize. Electronic communication is important. Email address, yeah. Next, I clicked. Arrival date, uh, based on the earlier information you have put, it's been uh, picked up. Country where the travel will commence, so you'll start from India. Will the applicant transit through any other country on the way to Australia? So let's say there's a direct flight. So no. Last city airport before transiting Australia. Let's say New Delhi. Name of the incoming airline. You can see that the information. Let's say Air India flight. Incoming flight number AI67. I don't know. City airport arrival in Australia, let's say Sydney. Departure. Give details of the vessel operator, shipping company, or manager agency which which uh, with which the crew member is employed or under offer of employment. Name of shipping company if applicable. So I'm leaving it now now because if if applicable. Sea crew, what is his job? So let's say he is a crew catering. Vessel name, OS, vessel, vessel ID, OS, country of registration, let's say it's registered in India, ship sign on date, departure date from Australia, yeah this is important because you have entered transit visa so and you are entering on 8 so let's say it's, it's going to exit on 9th port or depart port of departure from australia is there any sydney yeah my guess was somewhat correct error has occurred okay sign ship sign on date maybe maybe that means when the ship starts so let's say i put it on uh, 17th next must be equal to or arrival date okay sign on I mean when he signs on the ship so uh, September 8 next 
Okay, now this is for health information. In the last five years, has the applicant visited or lived outside the country of passport for more than three consecutive months? Do not include time spent in Australia. No. Does the applicant intend to enter a hospital or healthcare facility? No. Has any applicant ever had or uh, or currently have tuberculosis? Been in close contact with a family member that has active tuberculosis? Ever had a chest ray, chest X-ray which showed an abnormality? No. During the proposed visit to Australia, does any applicant expect to incur medical costs or require treatment or medical follow-up for? Let's say no. Next. Yeah, character requirement. This is very important because nowadays when uh, many countries have shared databases, so you cannot hide any information. So read these questions carefully and whatever is applicable in your case, answer. Even if there is any yes in your case and they ask for explanation, be very honest. Has the applicant ever had been charged with any offence? Let's say no. Oh, sorry, no. Has the applicant ever been convicted an, an, uh, for, of an offence in any country, including any conviction, which is now removed from official record? Let's say no. Has the applicant ever been in sub, uh, been the subject of an arrest warrant or Interpol notice? No. Has the applicant ever been found guilty of a sexually based offence involving a child? Let's say no. Has the applicant ever been named a sex offender registered? No. Has the applicant ever been acquitted of any offence on the grounds of unsoundness of mind or insanity? No. Has the applicant been ever found by a court not fit to plead? No. Has the applicant ever been directly or indirectly involved in or associated with activities which could represent a risk of to national security in Australia or any other country? No. Has the applicant ever been charged with or indicated Indicted for genocide, war crimes, crime against human torture, let's say no. Has the applicant ever been associated with a person, group or organization that has been or is involved in criminal conduct? No. Has the applicant ever been associated with an organization engaged in violence or engaged in acts of violence? No. Has the applicant ever served in a military force, police force, state-sponsored private militia or intelligence agency? No. Has the applicant ever undergone any military parameter training, been trained in weapons, explosive? No. Has the applicant ever been in contact with people smuggling or people trafficking offences? Has the applicant been, ever been removed, deported or excluded from any country? Let's say no. Has the applicant ever been overstayed a visa in any country including Australia? Let's say no. Has the applicant ever had any outstanding debt to the Australian government or any other public authority in Australia? Let's say no. Click on next. Has the applicant ha held or does the applicant currently hold a visa to Australia or any other country? Let's say no. This is first visa. Has the applicant ever been in Australia or any other country and not complied with visa conditions or, or departed outside the authorized process? Let's say no. Has the applicant ever had a visa for Australia or any other country refused or cancelled? No. But whatever is applicable in your case, you are going to select that and then uh, you need to put the information. Now this is declaration, very important. Understand that transit visa allows visa holders transiting Australia to join a non military ship as a crew to travel to enter Australia by air once only. Yes. Understand that the marine, uh, maritime crew visa provides visa holders with a period of five days after they arrive in Australia to sign on to their vessel. Yes. Understand that if the visa holder fails to sign on, uh, on to their vessel in, in that time the, merit, uh, the maritime crew visa will cease and they will be liable for removal from Australia. Yes. Next. Declaration. Have read and understood the information. Yes have provided complete and correct information. Understand that any fraudulent document or false misleading information has been provided to this applicant. So yes. Understand that if documents are found to be fraudulent. Yes. Will inform the department writing immediately as they become aware of a change in circumstances. Yes. Has the applicant have read the information contained in privacy notice. Okay, you can read it. Agree not to undertake study or training in three months. Agree to leave Australia on or before the expiry of the period of stay of the visa. Yes. Give consent to the collection of their fingerprints and facial image if required. Yes. Understand that if required to provide fingerprints and okay. Give consent to also law enforcement agencies 
disclosing the applicant's biometric, bio biographical, and chemical record information to the department to help identify the applicant. Yes. Understand that the visitor visa does not permit them to work in Australia. Yes. Give consent to the department using the applicant's biometric, biological, and criminal records obtained for the purpose of Migration Act. Yes. Next. You can review everything. I can click on next. Now on this page you are going to attach the documents. They have asked all the required documents. And then you can go to the next page and uh, I mean here is the button where you need to apply. So because there is no fee for this uh, visa, on the next page they will not ask you to pay any fee and you can apply. But I am not going to go to that page because I don't want the department to waste time on uh, going through this sample application because this is not an actual application and they are all already too busy. So that's it. The purpose of this video was to give you the walkthrough about the process. So that is completed here. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you to like and comment. And if you have any concern, any question, anything that comes to your mind, feel absolutely free to ask. Thank